With eight minutes left in the third quarter, Nebraska needed a touchdown to get back into a game that was looking out of reach. Martinez going deep over the middle for Spielman in the pass incomplete. Coverage with the Martinez. freshman Nane Belton on his right hip. Martinez was struggling to move the ball, and Scott Frost tested his luck with Luke McCaffrey. Looks what it looked like. Here's McCaffrey in. So Luke McCaffrey in at quarterback now as Martinez heads to the sideline. With his first play on the field, McCaffrey did this. 39-yard line of Iowa. Here's McCaffrey on the run, throwing. He's got Spielman wide open. Touchdown, Nebraska. The idea of using your feet to draw the defender to you is exactly what he did. After Nebraska stopped the Hawkeyes on the following drive, Adrian Martinez was brought back on the field, leaving many fans to question, why not Luke McCaffrey? In Adrian Martinez's freshman year, he threw for 2,617 yards, 17 touchdowns, and 8 interceptions. For a freshman who didn't even play most of his senior high school season, those numbers are impressive. Even the media put him on the Heisman candidate watch list for the next season. However, last year, he threw just under 2,000 yards, only throwing 10 touchdowns compared to a whopping 9 interceptions. You could say he regressed, but that doesn't mean he needs to be benched because of his sophomore slump. Here are four reasons why Adrian Martinez will keep his starting job. During his first start as a Husker in 2018, Adrian Martinez suffered an injured knee and was out for two games. He slowly recovered and by the end of the season, he was back to what looked like full health. However, during the next season, you could tell that Adrian Martinez was off his mark. He was slower and hesitant to run. Scott Frost had hinted that Martinez was not 100%, as he clearly looked like a shell of his former athleticism. He eventually hurt his left leg against Northwestern, leaving him out for that game, as well as Minnesota and Indiana. The good news is that he received a surgery in December, which should have him healthy and ready to go this season. Last year's wide receiver depth was very poor. Apart from J.D. Spielman, not many receivers on the lineup had much experience. The lack of experience and poor depth could have been the reason for Adrian's lackluster season, as there might have been a lot of miscommunications. Nebraska had lost Stanley Morgan Jr., their record-breaking receiver the previous year, and Cade Warner was injured until the final games of the season. With the addition of JUCO transfer Omar Manning, three other four-star recruits and experienced players like Kanawaya Noah, Cade Warner, and Wandale Robinson, Nebraska's wide receiver core looks promising. Even with the departure of J.D. Spielman, the depth looks well-rounded and ready to go, with short, fast, and agile guys along with tall, go-up-and-get-em receivers too. It takes a lot to be a quarterback at a Power 5 school. With two years under his belt, Adrian Martinez has a lot of experience when it comes to playing against Big Ten defenses. With another year of training, efficiently reading defenses and creating big plays could become easier for him. Yes, the plays Luke McCaffrey made during his times at quarterback were impressive, and sometimes even game-changing, but is he ready to drive Nebraska's offense? Experience under a program and offensive scheme is important, and he might not be ready yet. Last year's offensive line was a mess. Nebraska's starting center, Cameron Jurgens, was a true freshman who'd played tight end in high school and had just started learning how to play center in fall practice. When the season started, his snaps were very high, forcing Martinez to jump and catch snaps on a lot of plays. Not only did this throw off his rhythm, but it also gave him less time. With the extremely young offensive line around him, his time in the pocket was even shorter. 
This year, Nebraska's offensive line will be almost identical to last year's, with all of them now having more experience. Jurgen's snaps were much better by the end of the year, and the entire offensive line will do a better job at making spaces and giving Martinez more time. Adrian Martinez's sophomore season was rough. With his junior year upcoming, I truly think he can make a comeback. If not, Luke McCaffrey is right behind him and ready to dominate as well. Martinez is still an explosive player and will only need a spark to ignite. Martinez! And he gets past Dixon for the touchdown! Martinez trying to change that now. And here he's showing the arm! Wide open! Just like that! 